I'm going to start off with just a regular old envelope like this. That will work. Of course, that has to fall. So we're going to take a straight edge, put it right on here. Just take a regular utility knife and turn that into the cardstock that you need in order to do the project. So now that we've already taken care of some of the <coughs> different pieces here, this is a template I made of the back of the trailer, both the inside and the outside of it, which is the area that we're going to have to work with. And from there, I was able to make up some of these templates. This is the inside piece. Uh, it's going to go on the, the boom itself and come down flat on the trailer and back up. This is the outside of that same piece. So they'll be sandwiched like this and they'll rotate up and down. Because this is on the outside, I didn't have to notch out for the trailer like I do on the inside piece. This is actually the piece, the template for the piece for the trailer itself. This is what it looks like on the back corner of the trailer. I've actually mostly already made the first piece for that. It's going to go this way. You can see the template is really close to the piece of steel. I've already marked and drilled my holes. And now I just need to connect them with a jigsaw to make that piece work. This here is the jig for the center section at the top. The 2x4 rectangle tubing is going to sit right here. There's going to be a large hole here for the chain to go through to connect to the log. And then there's two holes in the back corner to attach the cable. And any pieces that, um, uh, yeah, snatch blocks, there we go. So we can hook the cable in or snatch block or vice versa on the back side to pull the arch up. And then this side is where the chain will attach to the log. This is a piece that I've already cut, but I haven't finished the grinding yet. So this is really, really sharp here on the points, both points there. Um, as you can see, that is going to be this piece here, where the template sits right on there like that. So I need to round off this tip, smooth this edge out, and actually cut my round here and drill my hole still. So before I cut it with the plasma cutter, I want to drill my hole because if I don't, the plasma cutter will actually harden the steel to the point where it will be difficult to drill the hole. 